Hey friends, Mike and Jess here. And welcome to Regeneration Nation TV. Today we are reacting to Al Murray, Why Bacon Proves the Existence of God. I am so very intrigued by this title. Also, this is our fourth reaction and I'm officially going to get a beer belt buckle. Oh yeah? <laughs> oh yeah? I've seen it way too many times. It's too cool and I love it. I just, yeah, I want one. I want hilarious. one so bad. I love this uh, pub landlord. I love his uh, persona that he yeah. puts on. We've actually watched another video of him in an interview, watching him just speak normally, completely different yeah. person. Uh, even my own personal friend uh, that I know in real life, Matt, yeah. hit me up the other day, and he was just like, this Al Murray guy you guys are reacting to is hilarious. Yeah, he's so funny. Um, but yeah, we've got links for his original video, his original video, his official channel down below. Go check him out, go support him, he's hilarious. And yeah, let's get into this. Let's do it. I can prove the existence of God, not using a big metal bird, yeah, but with one simple thing, bacon. <laughs> bacon proves the existence of God. It proves his infinite wisdom and his infinite mercy because bacon is the greatest food in the world. I love it. Bacon yeah. has saved all of your lives. <laughs> bacon is a miracle food. Everyone loves bacon. Even the vegetarians love bacon. <laughs> no matter how much they deny it, their hearts beat for bacon. Because bacon, 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 bacon. <laughs> bacon is a miracle food. Jesus died on a Friday, rose again on a Sunday. Very impressive achievement. Can't take it away from him, give the lad a biscuit. But <laughs> bacon means you can kill yourself with alcohol on a Friday night and then be fully resurrected Saturday morning with just one fucking bacon sandwich. <laughs> and we've all had that Friday night <laughs> where you get it home on the point five pigeon part of your brain. You get the front door open, you slam it behind you and you tear off your clothes because of the raging fire of dehydration that comes from drinking too much fluid on a Friday night that science cannot explain the useless fucking nerds. <laughs> At this point, the right side of your body shuts down, you collapse to the floor and drag yourself through the hall towards the stairs like some kind of beached walrus. <laughs> 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 Ugh, carpet burn down the right side of your body. <laughs> you haul yourself up the stairs. <laughs> Drag yourself across the landing towards the bathroom, snagging your ear on the piece of metal that separates the carpet from the line. <laughs> You squeak your burned and bloodied body across the bathroom floor <laughs> towards the toilet. Whack your head against the base of the toilet. Pause for a moment, gather your strength, regain your senses, and then begin the perilous assault on the rim of the bog. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. You feel the cold ceramic kiss against your face. You stare down into the liquid abyss. A poor scratching falls out your nose. The stale piss water splashes back onto your face. You start to drool uncontrollably into the toilet duck. It activates the toilet duck. The fumes rise to the toilet duck. Into your eye, you cry bitter, salty tears back into the toilet duck. You're caught in a cycle of endless chemical pain. <laughs> a single bead of hot sweat runs from the base of your neck down your back and nestles between your buttocks. You do one of those farts that could go either way. <laughs> <laughs> no real way of knowing until you check with your hands in the morning. 
You shake, oh. you shudder, you shiver. Hot sweat, cold sweat, hot sweat, cold sweat. For 10 seconds, you forget who you are. You do an acid red wine reflux book. <laughs> you swallow back down. Because <laughs> you know you're in for a day of it if you unleash the puke beast. <laughs> and then, and only then, you begin the arduous, perilous, and disgusting process of passing out with your face on the rim of a toilet. <laughs> The fact that he's sweating and just, oh my gosh, this is so graphic. It's like dude. it's really happening, it's really but we're happening. not. He's doing such a good <laughs> job. Oh my god. Don't you fuck? Fuck! I love you. Can't you see that? <laughs> you sleep fitfully for three and a half hours. Bizarre dreams of an ogre chasing you through a swamp. <laughs> Three men stood next to a pink light in nothing but running shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and an inventor who's invented nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but then in the morning, the miracle begins. The magic starts. Down in the kitchen, your loved one, your husband, your wife, your carer. <laughs> <laughs> the sergeant major, one of the lads, one of the lads you met on Tuesday night, gets out a frying pan, puts that frying pan on and puts on the gas, and then puts some bacon on, and the bacon begins to sizzle, and begins to sputter, and the life-giving aroma leaps from the pan, and darts across the kitchen, the spreads out, around. makes its way into the hall, <laughs> patrols the hall, seeking out hungover life forms, wherever they may be. <laughs> Darts its way up the stairs, across the landing, avoiding the strip of metal that separates the carpet from the liner. <laughs> Battles its way through the fart fug. <laughs> Dodges the toilet duck and sees you. Beholds you there, lying face down on the toilet. A booze zombie, a burned out husk of a human being. A piece of wreckage. Your skin like a rhino's fetid, salty hide. Your bollocks like two bricks wrapped in sandpaper, scraping against each other. Something <laughs> different for the ladies, I expect. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing marking you out as a product of human civilization is the words armitage oh shanks, imprinted the wrong way round <laughs> on your forehead. <laughs> and the bacon sees you, and the bacon knows. It knows who you are and why it spent three years living as a piglet on this earth. Why it's been sent. <laughs> why it's been sent. It's been sent to save you, to bring you back from the dead. And as you breathe your last three breaths, <laughs> the bacon darts up your nose, into your brain and touches the bacon receptor at the base of your brain stem. <laughs> it refires the whole of your brain and the whole of your body. And you feel the bacon force passing through your body, <laughs> into the tips <laughs> of your fingers, the tips of your toes. And thanks to the bacon, God's greatest gift of all, you are back! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh, dude. Oh, that was too funny, in the words man. of Bandit, Bluey's dad, nobody knows what I'm talking about, but I know what I'm talking about. I'll tell you that for free. Bacon is delicious. Yeah. It's absolutely perfect. And I could see it waking somebody up from a, a drunken, hang hungover stupor on the toilet. You've seat. been watching too much Bluey. <laughs> I have. <laughs> it's oh been fun. Oh my gosh. Brought it into the comedy reactions. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that was dude. so great. I His love the imagery. I, yeah, the storytelling is uh, exceptional. It gets you involved in it where you're literally looking out into the audience and you see the disgusted faces. Like, seeing a dude's disgusted face was funnier than if I were to see a female's because females yeah. would be obvious. But the guy was so disgusted by what he was saying. It was so funny. <laughs> there was an older gentleman and one of the audience pans he's just straight faced he's yeah. just like <laughs> i was like Dang. i almost paused on him and went back but i was just like whatever let it slide oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh when he brought up like to be so relatably uh telling the story like in a relatable way like everybody at one point has seen a house been in a house owned a house lived in a house that had the freaking metal <laughs> dividers yeah. that always hurt you i felt like i uh, was always going to that spot and only a couple of times that i have to walk by and get poked in my leg or poked in my foot when i was crawling or walking yeah. not to get to the toilet from a hangover or anything i was just a kid but i'm just saying like, and I remember those dividers. I think it's so funny when you bring up stuff like that, what people forget about, and it's like nostalgias in your story, and it just makes it so much better. It's just so I funny. love the books that, like, the author is so good at what he does to where as you're reading it, you're able to visualize exactly what you're reading. Yes. And Al is so good at that with his storytelling. Yeah. That as he's telling you. Like, he's given you a great visual depiction mm -hmm. of what it's, it looks Definitely. like as he's doing it. But also, but he he's puts you there, it. man. Yeah. He, he allows you to really visualize oh, exactly what gosh. he's talking about. I'm ridiculous. visualizing the house, the yeah. stairs, the bathroom, the toilet, this everything. This battered and bloodied person that's oh, hanging over a gosh. toilet seat. That was absolutely <laughs> fantastic. And although all those moments don't resonate with me on how you react when you are hungover or you have had too much to drink, I have had those moments where you're right there at the toilet and it's like the best thing ever when you feel the coldness of it mm -hmm. and it's as gross as it is it's your life in that moment it's just you gotta you do live your with best it. to wipe it off real yeah. quick with some toilet paper exactly, so it's not yeah. as gross but yeah. it's like it's still it's, gross you gotta dude. do it yeah toilet do paper doesn't do. kill germs nope no, does it's not. still really bad <laughs> but you're not thinking 100 percent with your brain at that moment you're so wasted man i i it's it's kind of like this is a comedy reaction, so I don't want to take it down too much. Yeah. And I could just not say this at all, but hey, whatever. I'm letting letting you in here. As he was talking about like just the drunk stumbling through the house, I thought of my dad. Yeah. Cause he man, he had some nights like that. Oh goodness. And then he got to the part where he stumbled and like hit his head on the toilet a little bit, and I'm like, man. Like, my dad actually passed away like that, like, stumbling and hitting his head on the toilet. And I was like, man, like, it kind of took me out of it for a second. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm, like, thinking about my dad in this part. And now he's talking about And then it's making me think of all of, like, just about my dad. Yeah. And I was, like, trying not to get sad there for a second. Right. And uh, I know he wouldn't want that. And no. it, it was a funny comedy bit. Yeah. But, man, for a second there, early on. I don't know if you saw me not laughing or not like I that's was what off in thought. Was that's where I was head. at. I was like, oh. That's the beauty of comedy, though, because it, it does give you a moment to take yourself out of those situations. Because while you're in that and you are thinking about it, you can still kind of like laugh and try to, you know, see a brighter side of yeah. what's going on. I know that you couldn't turn that into a no funny situation in real yeah. in reality this had nothing to do with my father yeah. it's a funny story that's yeah. completely unrelated so i just kind of had to separate myself and get myself back into it yeah it's like yeah anyways not go too deep down that road yeah i've already processed all of that so yeah. i wasn't trying to like go through the whole process again in the middle of a comedy reaction but letting people in that's nice that's why we do what we do so like we're, we're it took me to a strange place there for a second yeah i was like whoa yeah. i almost paused and mentioned oh this reminds me of my dad and then it got to the toilet part and i'm like oh wow too much too far this is too close yeah, to home a too little bit close. Oh. um yeah anyways got links for al's channel down below go support him he's hilarious and we're definitely going to continue reacting to him. Let Absolutely. us know. This one was like really highly requested. Yeah. People kept bringing this one up. So funny um, though. I think next up is uh, how finance works or how global finance really works. Something like that. That's up next. But let us know. Uh, go check out our playlist. Al Murray. So you can see everything that we've reacted to so far. 
and you can uh, let us know what we should react to next. All right, friends. See you on the next one. Bye, friends. Peace. I'm not